Would you like to know more about studying leadership in open education? Well, hello. My name is Moitza and I'm a second year student of the master's program Leadership in Open Education at the University of Nova Gorica in Slovenia. In this short video, created as my personal digital story, I'll give you three reasons why I think this is a great master's program and a wonderful opportunity for your professional and personal development. But before I start, let me tell you that this video is actually part two of my journey to becoming a leader in open education. Part one, published in 2021, is reflecting my insights on the first year of the master's program. It can be found on the university's YouTube channel and it's titled Want to become a leader in open education? Well, now in the second year, I'm not asking that question anymore. Rather, I'm inviting you to join me and my peers on this inspiring open journey. And now back to the three reasons. Why is it so great to study leadership in open education? To make a long story short, it's all about content, people, and the transfer of acquired knowledge into practice. Let's take a closer look at each of these three reasons. Reason number one. This one is a quite straightforward, objective reason. It's the quality of the courses. They're up-to-date and highly interesting, strategically interconnected content. Take a look at my second year courses. These are the compulsory ones. Practicum in Leadership Skills for an Inclusive Knowledge Society, Advanced Technologies for Open Education, Open Education Legal Issues, and Open Education Policies. And these are the two elective courses, selected by my peers and me, and we're eager to learn about mobile technologies and micro-learning, and the production of educational materials. And that is not all that is offered. There are many more interesting options of elective courses. Take a look at them. It might be interesting for you to take a look also at the first year courses. You're welcome to explore the whole study program and all available courses on this link. As you can see, the courses are strategically well interconnected. The policy aspects get enriched with the leadership dimension, supported by technological, legal, as well as the implementational aspects of effective open education. It's all highly connected. To me as a student, this seems like an excellent approach to planning and implementing quality open education in formal and non-formal settings. Even more, I think it is an, this is an important step towards achieving the ambitious targets of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal number 4, which focuses on ensuring inclusive and equitable quality education and promoting lifelong learning opportunities for all. Just think about it, how you, as a future leader in open education, could contribute to making this world a better place. Reason number two, people. Inspiring professors with diverse academic backgrounds and rich experience in open education and related fields. For example, Dr. Baker Diallo for the practicum in leadership skills and Professor John Shaw Taylor for the advanced technologies for open education. In the spring semester, I'm eager to learn again from Professor Veronica Dollar on how to create open educational resources and from Professor Tel Amiel and Professor Dominic Orr about setting up open education policies. And there are many other great courses where knowledgeable and inspiring experts are leading us, students, on our journeys to become leaders in open education. There is a lot of open community spirit involved also with my peers and with other members of the open education movement. And finally, reason number three, which is very important to me personally. It is the possibility to transfer the acquired knowledge, to connect the studies and the related assignments and exams to my specific fields of interest and to the interesting concrete projects I'm working on at my day job. My day job is all about energy and climate change. Strengthening energy literacy of citizens and other stakeholders about the meaning and importance of clean energy supply for the well-being in our everyday lives. 
Let me give you just one project example that worked well for me in combination with a master's program. It's connected to the Horizon 2020 European research project called Newcomers, where we explore new clean energy communities in Europe. As part of my master's program assignments, I had the opportunity and full support of professors as my mentors to develop several interesting open educational aspects. For example, in the first study year, I have created an OER strategy, as well as designed an online course related to the Newcomers Project and its online educational platform called Our Energy. And now in the second year, I've explored the leadership aspects for disseminating and exploiting the Newcomers' research findings beyond the project stakeholders towards society at large in the sense of creating a truly open science and open educational approach for the Newcomers' research project. So, to wrap it up, this master's program is delivering high-quality content shared by knowledgeable and supportive professors and mentors, discussed with inspiring peers, and all this allows, enables and even strengthens my efforts to make use of the newly acquired knowledge and skills to my specific fields of interest and to those aspects of open education that are most relevant for me as a professional communicator, but also as a citizen. The Leadership in Open Education Master's program is the best educational experience in my life and I highly recommend it to anyone thinking about enrolling. I'll end this video with a call to action. Let's broaden the community of open education leaders who can effectively support ensuring inclusive and equitable quality education for the sustainable development of all.